Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video we are going to um, cover a, an Arduino power door lock controller co conversion. So um, this video is pretty much uh, it'll make you understand how power door lock uh, work that's one and the other it's a, in in the event that you have a an older vehicle or one that doesn't have power door lock pretty much everything these days have has a power door lock but if you well, for whatever reason you need to do a conversion maybe you want to put an alarm in there and you want to know how this thing works this is it for this project we're going to be using a, uh, a door lock actuator as you see on screen uh, there's a bunch of these uh, nowadays you could buy them uh, like uh, aftermarket so uh, there's pretty much um, one would probably fit fit them all uh, as you can see this one came with it with an actual uh, hardware kit uh, you're also going to need a um, a switch um, for the to actuate the door locks we're going to be using a, a PC board switch in, in the in the video but just letting you know that any switches it it's would do will do uh, it's a um, normally open switch that you just push uh, and it'll it'll moment it's momentarily grounds uh, the, the, the Arduino board so that the microprocessor can sense the ground uh, we're also going to be using a two channel or a two relay um, a board uh, PC board uh, and of course we're going to be using the Arduino uh, so anyhow uh, without further ado let's just continue on and let's, let's show you let's go into the sketch which is the software part of the uh, of the project so like in any Arduino sketch on our we have a bunch of videos on Arduinos uh, any Arduino uh, software um, called the sketch is composed of two parts the setup part and the loop the setup sets sets up the pins whether they're input or outputs and the loop uh, it's exactly what what it says it, it pretty much it loops out it it's, it's a repeating part of the code that, that keeps repeating on and on and on it never stops as you can see on the setup part, we uh, we have pins number six and seven um, arranged as outputs, and these uh, two pins are the ones that are going to carry the output, and they're going to be they're going to ground uh, they're going to ground the uh, relay card. That's pretty much the way it works. So pins number six and seven are outputs. The pins number four and five are inputs from the switches. Uh, right on top, you you see an INT. That's an integer door lock up integer int door lock down equals zero that means ground uh, so anyhow if the output is zero means ground that means actuate uh, the relay if it's one that means it's a uh, five volt reference which is connected the other side is connected to the, f to the reference uh, and so um, or 12 volt whatever it is the relay th these really relays are connected to 12 volt uh, they're 5 volt actuated, but the output is 12 volts that goes to the actuator. Next is the um, the loop side, and this is this is where the magic happens. Um, and on the loop side, if you look at it, it's a pretty straightforward. It says a door lock um, equals a door lock up equals digital read five. That means read door lock switch, which is pin number five, uh, and digital write pin number seven door lock up so pretty much what it says it's it's uh, whatever you read on on the switch on pin number five do it on pin number seven so if you're pressing the switch on five you're going to actuate pin number seven which in turn actuates um, the, the the relay card and it brings the uh, remember only one relay is going to be on at the same time so um, pretty much it, it's pretty straightforward the same happens um, for the uh, for the other pin for, for pin number four a door door a door lock down equals digital read four so if pin number four which is a switch if it's on if it's grounded when you press it uh, then digital read uh, di digital write six so that means actuate uh, di um, pin number six that means uh, pin number six is the relay for the the, uh, the actuator down. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, it does whatever the, the switch says. That's that's what the 
that's what the output pins is going to tell the uh, relay card and then there is a delay 200 that's 200 milliseconds delay uh, it's like a little bit less than um, almost a quarter of a second um, and this is needed so that everything pretty much settles uh, uh, but when it comes to uh, the electronics and, and the pulses you know further down digital right six and seven and then, and then that's common one one it's a, pi a five volt reference that means turn off the relays so after the the entire loop runs whatever ha whatever it's happening if you're pressing one of the switches it'll actuate it on and off you know um, uh, door lock up, up, up or down uh, and then it's going to turn off everybody now briefly let's take a look at the wiring diagram for this uh, arrangement and this, this is pretty much uh, as you've seen in other videos similar to the p to the power windows uh, so this is almost the same what it is is you have two relays they're both grounded when when everything is off both sides of the motor of the actuator both sides are grounded both uh, wires uh, so pretty much nothing is happening everybody's grounded and that's that's when whenever you press a button then something happens basically basically as you can see here one relay uh, gets actuated which provides 12 volts on one side of the motor and that makes the the actuator either go um, go the uh, door locks go up or down uh, either or uh, it doesn't really matter then as soon as you uh, press the other switch then the other side the other relay gets actuated uh, gets activated provides a, a 12 volt to the other side of the motor uh, the other side of the motor is already gr uh, grounded anyways but they're both normally grounded so one side one relay provides power on one side or the other relay provides power on the other other side either or not both at the same time of course otherwise you're going to have power on both sides nothing really happens if that there's no short so basically uh, what you see here it, it, this is exactly this is more or less the way power windows work in this project though we do on the on the sketch on the software we put a, a little delay there in the critical part so that you don't burn the motor otherwise the motor burns you know so uh, basically you you don't want to actuate that the, the the actuator for the door lock the same way as the power window because it's not a power window it's a more it's a, it only needs a maybe a, a second or so uh, max you know maybe two seconds max uh, to actuate the, win the the door locks and here in this uh, uh, simple animation as you can see uh, you can see if you look carefully you can see how the whole deal the ele the electrical side how it works and uh, take a look at the yellow side of it so that this is how the buttons uh, how they ground the pins pins number four and five on the Arduino and then pins number um, uh, IO six and seven IO means input and out input or output that's the way they're called uh, and the number six or seven uh, how they uh, both uh, get get actuated and they actually uh, turn the uh, the relay card on now very briefly let's uh, take a look at how this whole deal works you know in action and here you can see how we set up the uh, the whole arrangement and uh, pretty much this is this is it this this you can try on your own, on your own uh, older vehicle or maybe you want to put an alarm on it or what have you who knows so but anyhow this is it it's it's got a dual purpose it shows you how the whole uh, door lock system works and it, it if you if you want to do it if it you know if it suits your purpose and uh, you need it and then it's here and we want to thank you for being uh, on this channel tuning on to our videos uh, we're always doing videos automotive uh, technology videos uh, we have a very loyal uh, following and uh, we appreciate you being here and this is a free channel so uh, we don't really um, charge for anything in the in uh, on this YouTube video ADP training is our channel and if you can give us a thumbs up or, or some comments uh, we appreciate it so uh, thanks for, be for being here and uh, thank you for watching this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians we present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, 
is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.